We are amazed, but not amused by all the things you say that you do. Uh, you're much concerned, but not involved with the decisions that are made by you. And we are sick and tired of hearing this song. Telling us how you're gonna change right from wrong. Cause if you really want to hear of you, you haven't done nothing. It sounds about right, don't it? Oh, that sounds about right on time. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. To the damn mental house with me, your host, DJ. Let me say one thing. I'm going to start this off with a story. When I was about in third or fourth grade, you know, we used to have an inner classroom student council. And I had been accustomed to uh, being the president. And so I didn't want to lose my little power. Okay? So when it got down to the end, all of us that were running, all of us, and got narrowed it down to the two candidates. It was myself and the girl named Diane. Diane, I'm I'm gonna spare your last name because I know you would just be too embarrassed. Uh, but it was down to us too, and I knew I was losing win because it just seemed like for some reason she had the energy that people just you know, gravitated towards her. And so she threatened my throne. Okay? And so I began to tell them that they better not vote for Diane. Anybody that vote for Diane is going to get, they're going to be in trouble. Now listen to this. I was in fourth grade, third or fourth grade, and I remember it vividly. I remember the pain of not uh, winning. And then I remember um, being threatened, I remember the, the the pain of the insecurity of not of losing my position. And as a child, I handled that situation the way a child should handle it and would handle it. That they would have to learn from it. That's not appropriate behavior. Here we are, have a Republican Party. It's so sad that because when we start talking about the Speaker of the House, because no one is voting for Jim Jordan, he is taking it upon himself now to threaten his constituents. And this is grown people now. It's not kids. So they have the ability to have get these weapons and do whatever and send out the MAGA... Uh, let me... Just, just listen. Uh, how about that? Let, let me. Um, I think they could do a better job than I did of explaining what happened. And this is from um, CBS Morning. And Jordan is pressing on despite coming up short in another round of balloting. And some lawmakers who voted against him say they're now getting death threats. The speaker's not going to like it. In the second round, a speaker has not been elected. A second strike for Congressman Jim Jordan. The Honorable Jim Jordan of the state of Ohio has received 199. The Ohio Republican failed to reach a majority. So let's get a Republican speaker and get about the people's business. Four GOP lawmakers initially backed Jordan, but switched their votes Wednesday against him, including Iowa's Marionette Miller-Meeks. She said she's getting credible death threats and a barrage of threatening calls, but will not bend to bullies. New York's Nick Lolota, who has in fact Jordan, shared a threat he received, telling him to go F himself and die. Jordan has condemned all threats against colleagues, writing it's imperative that we come together. Did y'all hear that? Is that pathetic? Is that a party in disarray? You know, and what scares me even more than, than the votes that he didn't get 
is the fact that 199 people would think that this behavior is cool. If, if this 199 spineless, gutless, because they said they all talk about them behind their back, but they all are scared of Donald Trump and his bully tactics. When everybody know, anybody know the streets? Anybody know what a bully looks like? Or anybody know what a wimp looks like? Donald Trump talks tough. Never been in the scuffle. Never got his little white socks dirty. Okay? So the thing about it is, he ain't about that life. He don't stand with nobody but himself. And 199 people would vote for that, even that type of personality because they so disappointed in the way uh, um, because they had a black president, basically, because that's, that's what happens. Whenever black people or white people perceive that black people make some type of progress in this society, then they unleash the dragon. No, they unleash the kraken. I cannot believe that I, as a fourth grader, will have the same mentality as grown adults, will handle it the same way because somebody didn't want to vote for me. And I remember. And I also remember peeking my eyes up and my head up to see who voted for me and who didn't. This is for real tea. This is for real, for real, for real, for real. And then my teacher, who used to always try to bring out the best in me, she was one of the very few white teachers that did. She was like, um... Let's everybody keep our heads down now. And then afterward, uh, when we, I lost, and I was sad. Because I had seemed to have done so many other things so well, I just thought I was, was never going to lose, and everybody was always going to vote for me. And then, you know, when we were about to leave and go home, or, you know, for, you know, the, the, the day, she saw that I was sad and, you know, she pulled me over to the side and she was probably one of the very first people that told me, you know, Khadija, we're not always going to win things that we want to win, you know, and sometimes that's a hurtful thing. She admired the fact that I uh, settled down on feeling the way I was feeling, but she wanted me to acknowledge that she saw me and what my antics were, and she knew. And she also knew the pain of losing my power. Somehow she made me comfortable with that. I can't think of all the words she said, okay? But I think about that when I think about these people, and these are grown-ups, old-ass people that are acting like children. And y'all are fine with this? You also want somebody to be the speaker who has never, ever had any of um, bills brought forth and passed at all his tenure in the um, House. I mean, you got to be kidding. 16, 16 years, I believe they said. He's an insurrectionist. We already know. We know he's a liar. Okay. We know at Ohio State he covered up the sexual predator that was, you know, preying on the athletes, the children, basically. That's why he's so comfortable with Donald Trump. And 199 people will vote for a character like that. It just lets you know what is happening. Gino Vanelli said, where are the summers of my life? And 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 I swear to God, that, that song has never been more truer than the madness that's going on right now on the planet. And nobody is taking nobody is taking responsibility for this party that just needs to be shut down. It just at this point it needs to be shut down and they need to start from scratch. Give Hakeem Jeffries the speaker, the speakership, and they need to go on about the business of repairing and starting over again with the Republican Party because those MAGA people, 
whoever the marionette is wants this to continue to be a, um, a cesspool for race baiters and uh, a white um, nationalist supremacist type of uh, mindset. It couldn't take no more. So I think that when they reset with the COVID shit, when it got reset, they had a chance to unleash how they unleash the Kraken. And now the Kraken is out of control. It really is. And we got to do better. 199 people will vote for insurrectionists. That go to show you where we at. The whole Republican Party got to be dealt with. The, the, the extremists. The ones that are, you got to start with the foundation of the ones who don't uh, believe this craziness. That's the only way you can survive, in my humble opinion. And with that being said, if you like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel. And I'm going to see you in the next one.